head to Indiana with a chance to clinch the Eastern Conference Championship for the third year in a row. And with that, they could punch their ticket to the NBA Finals. There's the commissioner, David Stern, taking in the action. LeBron and David West before the game. David West, 103-degree fever earlier in the day. And... Well, he's watching that, and that's good news. Roy Hibbert inside with the tip in. That's a bad sign, though, for Miami. Indiana up 12-10. Paul George bringing the house down, slamming it over Chris Bosh. But Chris Bosh is aware. We go back the other way, and LeBron James does Paul George one better. He gets three points for his effort. But, yeah, you may see that on the top five tonight. Paul George, a money, money jam, and LeBron and Paul chatting up. After the plays, later, second quarter outside, George Hill pulling on a three and loving it. Two of four from distance on the game. Indiana up 27-25. Pacers, though, missing some easy buckets. Sam Young just blows the jam there. And look at the heat. They work their way up the court. Norris Cole looking, looking, and... Gets a little medium-range jumper to go down Indiana, though, in front. 31-29, David West also missing the jam, and Norris Cole loves these opportunities all the way to the basket for the lay-in there. That ties the game at 31 apiece. Later in the second, the Heat in transition. Ray Allen misses the three, but gets the tip out, and, yeah, he's got some confidence. He's the all-time leader in three, so he knocks that one down. It was his only three. Of the game, though, LeBron enjoyed that one. Roy Hibbert inside with another tip in. 11 of 20 from the field for Big Roy. Indiana up 37-36. Hibbert turns it over on this play. Norris Cole to LeBron, who throws that one down. 10 of 21 for LeBron. Miami up 40 to 39 at the half. Third quarter action now. George Hill outside for the triple. Pacers up by a pair, 44-42. Then it's David West. He of that 103-degree fever earlier in the day. How you like that? Double-double. 11 points, 14 rebounds. Pacers up 48-42. Mario Chalmers misses the land. LeBron James trying to track it down. Diving out of bounds. Tries to fling it off George Hill. That doesn't work. Watch LeBron this time. Look where he lands. Right in the lap of his old teammate, the big fella for TNT, Shaquille O'Neal. Catching him and pushing him back up. Yeah, Shaq still got a little strength. We've seen that around here later third quarter Roy Hibbert there's some strength right there just rumbling to the rack and throwing it down he had 24 points 11 rebounds then Paul George nails a three three of five from range on the game Tyler Hansborough inside working on LeBron James off the miss here he gets the tip in was it goaltending was it not you be the judge real tight there Tyler Hansborough gets the call and we'll see it one more time just for Clarification, that was Hansborough's only bucket of the night as we go into the fourth quarter. Mike Miller, hot hand early in the fourth. He took two shots all night. You saw the first, this, the second. Both threes go down. Mike Miller, a spark plug, and suddenly a big lead is down to six. It's back up to eight. LeBron James just trucking through Jan Mahimi on that play. 29 points on the game. That was a game high. That's what LeBron normally does. Paul George, though, was the answer for Indiana. He had a playoff career high 28. And again, three of five from distance on the game. David West down low. Well, he misses that shot, but right place, right time, right man. Throwing it down. David West, big jam. Indiana back up by nine. 77 to 68. Less than five to go. LeBron James driving to the hole. This was a critical play. They call an offensive foul, and LeBron does about a 4-3-40 to the other end of the court. He can't believe the call. He gets called for a technical foul, as did assistant coach Dave Fisdale. So two guys, technical fouls. You see LeBron one more time driving to the rack, didn't make the basket, and got called for an offensive foul. Alonzo Mourning not liking what he's seeing either. There's Coach Fisdale, who got called for the technical foul. And after the technical free throws, Indiana's lead back up the double digits. Roy Hibbert inside. Just too big for LeBron down there. The man's seven foot two inches. He's going to make those shots. 81 to 68. And then Paul George knocking down the wing three to finish this thing off. LeBron James in the heat. If they want to win a second consecutive championship, they'll have to go through the Pacers in Game 7 in Miami. The Pacers out-rebound the Heat by 20 and beat Miami 91-77 to Game 7 Monday night on TNT.